Man, I'm gonna get this video done despite the rain. Just had a storm pass through here. Another line is coming through right now. Check the radar, there's nothing behind this line. So, uh, look at that. Man. Anyway, rain's falling again. Bear with me for just a minute. This is probably, fingers crossed, the last storm we're gonna get in a while. They've been building to the west incredibly fast. I mean, these things are just popping up like crazy. I gotta get this video done, I'm starving. So, stick around, we'll be right back. From the wettest neighborhood in the known universe, welcome to Smoky Goodness. Tonight we're going to try to get something in. I'm way overdue with something I wanted to do prior to Memorial Day. Uh, Memorial Day, of course, is uh, for most people the start of barbecue and grilling season. And uh, we thought we'd do some burgers and dogs that uh, the night before Memorial Day. That didn't happen. It started raining. We got into this really wet rain pattern, severe weather every day. We have had enough rain to not only end the drought that we were in for most of last year and this year, it was a severe drought. Um, that's gone, that's over. This is my daily rain gauge. I empty this thing out every night. I didn't do it last night. And every day, it fills up about this much. It's been like this for about five weeks, or five, five days now. That's at least an inch, maybe an inch and a half. All a friend can say is, ain't it a shame? Hang it up and see what tomorrow brings. All right, we're gonna make citrus burgers. We're not gonna do the dogs. Um, they're gone. <laughs> you know, you gotta eat, you know, so. Uh, we're gonna do citrus burgers. I'll show you all the ingredients. We'll take the tour, I think, if it's not too rainy. And this little guy's gonna like the coals for us, aren't you? So. Taking a look at the stars of our show. Citrus. You can't have citrus burgers without citrus. We've got a couple of limes, we've got a lemon, and an orange. Over here we've got, uh, I think it's about two pounds of 80-20 uh, ground chuck. Got some sweet baby rays. And uh, for now, that's about it. Gonna zest up some of this stuff right now, and uh, now we'll take it from there. Stick around. Shut up, Robin. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're gonna take this two pounds of 80-20 ground chuck. And to that, in goes about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more, some SBR. Smells good. It smells great. Yeah, I'm talking about this. Oh, how can that smell good? It's raw. I don't know. There. Because it has that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take this wonderful concoction. Just kind of mix it all up, mix it well. Lime. I know this looks ridiculous, but trust me, this is going to be good. Mix this all up. Summer and spring? Summer and spring. All right. Okay, everything's mixed together. What we're gonna do is take this inside, stick it in the fridge for about half an hour. In the meantime, someone's gonna be lighting the coals. That's him.
Three minutes has passed. Shut up, dogs. They're everywhere. Shut up, dog. There you go. <laughs> we'll move him back over here. Okay, we're gonna move these off. Cool side of the grill. Because I am a seasoned professional. And sometimes I even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Not all the time. Well, the fire's yeah. coming out. When you when you put the spatula on, because it's metal, the fire came up a mm -hmm. lot. And I just cooked the burgers in two seconds left. Yeah. Like, Actually, I just sealed, seared them, so. All right, we're going to let those go for a few minutes. And now, the time has come for something that's never been amazing, that's never been done before. Like I said before, I'm sure it has, but... I've never seen it done, so in my little world, it's never been done before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go with a little bit of magic. Orange slices on the grill. That's right, they're grilling orange slices. Oranges smell really good. Hey, I'm gonna cover those up just for just for not very long at all. I'm gonna let those kind of cook down. It'll be good. My son likes American processed cheese. I like medium cheddar cheese cut straight from the block. We're gonna let that cheese melt. We will be right back. So, how does it taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? Let's find out right now. Get some of that orange. Mm -hmm. hmm. I have a theory, or I've just proven, no condiments needed. The citrus flavor, uh, that cheese, cheese, and the orange slice on there. Tremendous. Delicious! <laughs> really? It's delicious! 